Come with the right expectation and come with the understanding that you're going to work very, very hard. Preparation, in my opinion, is, is the, the key to success or failure at GMBC. I don't expect them to know all the background and the details about my particular company, but I think it's very, very important that you understand where they operate, that you have a sense or a feel for how many stores they operate in an area. Because um, it is a little disheartening to have someone sit down and call your company's name out and say, okay, now where are you located and how many stores do you have? Retailers expect that as a vendor, when you walk up to that table and you have 10 minutes, that that 10 minutes is used to discover whether or not there's a future business opportunity between you and the retailer. I think it's important for the retailer wholesaler to speak maybe for the first couple minutes, talk a little bit about what their priorities are, what they're trying to accomplish here at the show, who the key decision makers are, but then after that point in time it's really for the vendors to make a pitch. We approach the CCCs with a single focus of what we want to talk about, one item, one thing, because we want to the other side, the customer side, to have some moments with us as well. They're pretty fast, so you don't have a lot of time to talk. So we pick one objective, we have one thing in mind. We tend to have one that we share with everybody during the CCC, whether it's a new product, a new skill, a new capability, uh, and then we listen for the rest of the time with the customer. So it goes pretty quick, but you gotta have a very focused presentation and one basic objective. What we do as a company, we prepare our sales folks to present certain questions, clarifying questions, and sit back and basically let, the, let the, the supplier or wholesaler do the talking. Let them tell you what, what they want. Let them create what, what, what you're trying to sell. Let them create the buy-in. A first-time attendee from the supplier side may expect a purchase order to be written on the spot. It's probably not a reasonable expectation. Don't walk in to see that retailer thinking you're going to get the big order. And then, actually, quite frankly, even coaching back to your management, they spent the money to send you down here, managing them so that you're not showing up like, well, where are the orders? It's, again, it's about building relationships, and it's about building up follow-ups to get those orders. I think it's important to have, uh, it's important to have a, a tandem of people at the table, one to take notes, one to communicate the opportunity. And make sure that when you leave that table, you know what the follow-up steps are. Do you like it? Who should I follow up with? What's the timing I should, you know, is it two weeks from today I should follow up with you? Should I follow up by email, by phone call? But be very specific on, do they like my product, and how should I best follow up with them?